In this video, we will see what are material expressions that perform operations on vector input values. First is append vector. The append vector expression enables you to combine data channels together to create a vector with more channels than the original. For example, you can take two individual constant values and append them to make a two-channel constant two-vector value. Append vector is also useful for reordering the channels within a single texture or for combining multiple grayscale textures into one RGB color texture. Let's check the inputs. Input A that takes the values to append additional data to. And B. This takes in the values that will be appended to A for example. Append vector works in order of input, meaning the data in input B is appended to the end of the data in input A. In the example below there are two separate append operations. First 0.2 and 0.4 are appended together, resulting in a two-channel vector, 0.2, 0.4. In the second append node, a constant value of 1 is appended to the end of, 0.2, 0.4. The final result is a three-channel vector, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 1. In this example it is used as an RGB value to define the base color of the material. Next vector is component mask. The component mask expression enables you to select a specific subset of channels, R, G, B, and or A, from the input to pass through to the output. Attempting to pass a channel through that does not exist in the input will cause an error, unless the input is a single constant value. In that case, the single value is passed through to each channel. The current channels selected to be passed through are displayed in the title bar of the expression. Select the component mask expression in the material graph, and use the checkboxes in the details panel properties to choose which channels are allowed to pass through to the output. Let's check the properties. R. If R is checked, the red, first, channel of the input value is passed through to the output. Next is G. If G is checked, the green, second, channel of the input value is passed through to the output. Then B. If B is checked, the blue, third, channel of the input value is passed through to the output. And lastly a alpha. If A is checked, the alpha, fourth, channel of the input value is passed through to the output. The example below shows a component mask with an input of 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 1.0. Only the G channel is enabled in the details panel, so the node outputs a value of 0 0.4. This appears as a 40% bright grayscale value when passed into the material's base color input. Next vector is cross product. The cross product expression computes the cross product of two three channel vector value inputs and outputs the resulting three channel vector value. Given two vectors in space, the cross product is a vector that is perpendicular to both of the inputs. Let's check the input. The A takes in a three channel vector value. And B takes in a three channel vector value. Example usage. Cross product is often used to compute directions which are perpendicular to two other directions. Next vector is derive normal z. The derive normal z expression derives the z component of a tangent space normal given the x and y components, and outputs the resulting three channel tangent space normal. The inputs x underscore y takes in the x and y components of the tangent space normal in the form of a two channel vector value. Next vector is dot product. So what is actually a dot product, and how can it be used? Well dot product multiplies two vectors together, and it then sums up the results of those multiplications. So let's say for example, you have x multiplied by x, y multiplied by y, z multiplied by z, and then you add the resulting numbers. The dot product expression computes the dot product, which can be described as the length of one vector projected onto the other, or as the cosine between the two vectors multiplied by their magnitudes. This calculation is used by many techniques for computing falloff. Dot product requires both vector inputs to have the same number of channels. The input A takes in a value or vector of any length. The input B takes in a value or vector of the same length as A. Next is transform. 
Transform the transform material expression converts a three channel vector value from one reference coordinate system to another. By default, all shader calculations in a material are done in tangent space. The vector constants, camera vector, light vector, and so on are all transformed to tangent space before being used in a material. The transform expression allows you to transform these vectors from tangent space to the world space, local space, or view space coordinate systems. Additionally, it enables world space and local space vectors to be transformed to any of the other reference coordinate systems. Hope from this video, you will start to move into building in more advanced mechanics, in an easy to follow step by step approach, which will allow you to play around and build your own content, to eventually build your own game. Thanks, thanks a lot, see you in the next video.